yo what's going on guys today the video is going to be a little bit different now normally i don't like doing any high hypotheticals and stuff like that but i did want to do a hypothetical video on what a kime grid would look like for dark do note that technically the grid will only have nine weapons because one of the weapons has to be the new weapon with this new ability so just keep that in mind now, I try to drop a couple of grand weapons, like Gisela, Fairy's Harp is also not there. Weapons like that, like, you don't really need them. Um, you can also drop BK's weapon as well. BK weapon is not that important, so. You do have plenty of options when it comes to um, this grid. Hold up. So I make sure I have everything. Hit her charm. Yeah, as I was saying, you have you have a ton of options. Uh, you can also throw in like Serb gun. I don't really recommend the gun to be to be honest. But if maybe you want to go a more Amity build with your grid, you have, you have there's plenty of weapons you can throw in there. You can also throw in like HP boosting weapons. That's also I don't really recommend that though. But if it's your prerogative, if you want to, you can throw out HP weapons in there. You can also throw in double magna, more EXs, right? It really depends on like what characters you plan on running and what you want to do. So we're gonna go with that. Hit death. Goodbye, fairy. So originally I was gonna do a staff video, but I, I remember that I have strike time right now and I was like, oh, let me just throw in fairy now and then we'll just go from there. Uh, we're gonna go with that. Ended up being kind of a Ogi showcase, I guess, because you know a lot of this is Ogi based. Um, that. At least you can copy that, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I I kind of forget what skills Luna Luke can actually copy. I'm not too sure. I think you can't copy Fang Links like Kime. Unfortunately, I kind of forget because I, I don't really like mainly I use Luna Lu for like, let's say, um, Sarasa. <laughs> That's about it, really. Sarasa, uh, other than that, I don't use her for much. Now, keep in mind, I believe Kaim gives you what 20% damage cap boost, I think, or I think a 20% unique attack. No, was it 50 unique attack? I forget. I don't remember. I don't have them, so I don't really worry too much about it. Cause you know, if you ain't got them, then it's not your problem, right? <laughs> but do know that he does give quite the boost. So, but you're gonna you also gotta remember that this weapon probably a skill level ten weapon. So, it is gonna hurt a little bit. I do think that you may have to run stamina on your dark opus um, instead of the damage over time like I'm running right now. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is, I think. I think the resets are scale, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I don't really know what the best skill for Luna Lua to copy. <laughs> I never really take too much thought to it. So I really don't even know her best skill to copy. We'll see in a minute though what, what options we have. I think we have chaser up. Chaser is no. I think can we copy the skill? I don't know. Oh, we can. Well, it's, wow, it's way weaker though. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought I would do more, but I get. I guess he didn't have main character skill ups, right? The, or uh, not skill ups, but the skill damage increase that the main character has. Um, to give her... No, not enough. Yeah. I'm trying to get a full charge. Cool. I'm not, I'm not really looking too much at their damage. Uh, because... Like, I know that they're missing out on that unique boost, so I'm not too worried about how hard they're hitting. This is more like what the grid will look like in the future. Um, 
though they're not hitting like awful damage or anything. But keep in mind, this is a pile though. I could probably I could probably throw nine weapons in the grid and do good damage if I do like a proper grid. I could probably use nine weapons. Apollo has like no defense. Like these raids, like I I generally don't do one because you don't really need like a amazing grid to really showcase damage in like Apollo. Unfortunately, right? Because they have whoa, her health is low, 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 low. <laughs> I kind of forgot her health was that low. <laughs> because I've been hitting her skill so much. <laughs> but yeah, Apollo is like super easy to do damage in. So I don't really worry too much about how much I'm actually hitting an Apollo. Because it's like it's nothing. But that's a hypothetical uh, Kime grid. Uh, I think there's a maintenance update later tonight, I believe. We just got that. Actually, let me look here. I'm pretty sure there's a maintenance update in like a couple. Yeah, there's a maintenance update. I think this is in like 12 hours from recording this video. So uh, we may be getting an update for the weapons, I believe. So if not the weapons, um, at least maybe the filament break on the primals. So expect a lot of videos if that's the case. I will try to be rushing everything if I can. Uh, I, I My priorities right now is to filament break every primal if I can, and then farm the weapons. Um, but priority wise, I'm definitely focusing on the primals first, then the weapons. But we'll see, maybe it's a gate, right? Maybe that like requires some type of item and who knows. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time and bye.